Don't forget everybody, Supply Boy, Fly Boy's Ghost Channel. Got a little something quick and different for y'all today while I'm doing some grilling on the weekend here. Uh, just got back from Gulf Coast. Uh, didn't do too good of a job making videos. I intended to do a lot more video for this YouTube channel. And I was going to Fort Morgan, did just a little bit there. It's shaky, it's grainy, it looks a lot like a Bigfoot video. Y'all are really gonna appreciate that if you believe in Bigfoot. I mean, if y'all you know, ain't gonna appreciate it at all, but you know, maybe it's worth watching. Um, got a little beach video stuff. I know it's unrelated to a gun channel, but hey, not shooting much, so let's just do something different. I was gonna go to the battleship. My idea was to get near one of the turrets, uh, 16 inch gun, and let's do, you know, like firing the biggest gun of any YouTube gun channel. That's the first time since the first time I went to Gulf Shores 40 years ago this summer. We didn't go to the battleship, that's okay, because we're probably gonna go back tomorrow. I mean, another day. One day we'll go back, and we probably still won't get to fire the 16 inch guns, but hey. Here's a little uh, shaky, grainy Fort Morgan video and maybe a little beach. I don't know. There might be a dolphin or a ray or something in there. And any bikinis are purely coincidental and accidental. I promise you, honey. I promise. Y'all stay tuned. Well, again, everybody, it's Plowboy, Plowboy's Ghost Channel. I normally show y'all only about three sides of my house on my videos. Well, today I'm showing you the other side. Stay tuned. So walk through the house here. You know, I don't show you much of the inside of the house either, either. My wife gets most of the house. This is the part where she lets me live. Yep, this, this is my part of the house. See, it's pretty comfortable, spacious. Oh. Y'all ain't believing none of this, are you? There's a lot, of, a lot of crowd around, so I'm not doing a whole lot of video right out in front of a whole lot of people. Give y'all a little peek Don't here and there. Get out of it. Y'all, this place been through a lot of hurricanes. And it's still in relatively good shape. Y'all come along with us here in the dark. Little interior view of the fort. thinking about Confederates today. Yep. A whole lot of hidey holes here and y'all that has got to be the steepest set of stairs all around this place in existence. In the dark. Well we're not Steep. going very far. Another walkway. This is plank walkway number seven. There's a hole there. Yeah. This is awesome. I'm going to stub a toe and break a flip flop. And I ain't even drinking. I ain't had a drop to drink since breakfast. Y'all know my history. This was the first sight and occurrence of when the Kool Aid man broke through the wall. Right there it is. Yep. And this, well, if you walk on out here, you're going to have to do some climbing to get out of here. Well, up here on the uh, southeastern corner of Fort Morgan, it's looking off toward the Gulf of Mexico. I'll give y'all a better view in a minute. 
looking back toward the interior this is north right here I'll get you at the highest vantage point here Fort Morgan this is looking off toward the Gulf this is directly due south and of course we've got some electronic stuff in front of us and there's some historic buildings here some historic buildings further up yonder too like uh, officers quarters and stuff I don't know how old they are for sure this is looking north into the mouth of Mobile Bay right here and now off in the distance you can see the Dolphin Island Bridge and there's Dolphin Island this right here is the mouth of Mobile Bay, where the Battle of Mobile Bay took place. And I'm not going to quote that Yankee Farragut, I don't care what he said. You hear it? It's printed all over everything here, as though this was a, a Yankee fort. And he was the only thing worth talking about. It's more of this is the southernmost and the only place where the largest ones were. I'm going to tell y'all something. Whatever you're trying to hold in, if you need an anchor that size to do it, you got problems. No, this is not one of my typical videos. Y'all got to see the, the old railroad bridge at Florence, Alabama. So I brought y'all 300 and something miles south. We drug a camper off down here and stayed for a few nights. we make it home tomorrow this will get uploaded because the computer's back at home and if not y'all will never know it still live in the sticks where you wouldn't go and a town of 1200 off an old dirt road and a country boy is all i'll ever be and i spent 12 years since i sold my soul on a devil in l.a Sign your name here on the dotted line Your songs they all will play He set up shop on sunset He put me up in the marquee He said, you want to sell a million records Boy, you better listen to me He said, change your style Widen your smile You can lose a couple of pounds Wanna live this life, you better lose and why do you need your friends around? And I said, that's not me. Because the biggest thing in life are your friends and family. I like my jeans and my old t-shirts and a couple of extra pounds never really hurt. And a country boy. It's all I'll ever be Cause hang taught me just how to steal life You'll never catch me at the house without my 9 on 45 I got a big orange tractor and a diesel truck And my idea of heaven's chasing white tail bucks And a country boy you know I can survive the Two flags fly above my land They really sum up how I feel One is the colors that fly I'm proud The red, the white, the blue The other one's got a rattlesnake With a simple statement made Don't tread on me Is what it says Take into my grave. This is me. I'm proud to be American and I'm strong in my belief. I said it before and I say it again. I never need the government to hold my hand. And I said it before and I say it again. My family always fought and died to save this land. And a country boy is all I'll ever be.